Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, if quality of life was an update, that is exactly what the folks at Pixiologic ZBrush showcased to the entire world when they made the announcement of ZBrush 2021.6. First off, we're going to start off by talking about the ambient occlusion update. So, sometime last year when they talked about and also released ZBrush 2021.5, we did see the real-time ambient occlusion. But the beautiful thing right now is this is actually having a very good ray tracing feature coming with it now this would help you do some very quick masking and you can easily use those to get ambient occlusion mask which you can use to texture add things like rust and you can choose to also invert this to also drive some sort of cavity now this doesn't just exist as it is as this also has a couple of parameters that you would need to know how to work with now within the zbrush plugin section there's an ambient occlusion menu set which deals with how you can compute things in terms of sampling smoothness distance aperture and also resolution you can choose to recalculate these things and also compute for the entire sub tools or simply compute for one sub tool at a given time and the fact that this has a ray tracing feature attached to it just simply makes it way easy and with that said there's a couple of updates coming to the stroke right now within the stroke menu there's a repel strength and also fall off so contrary to previous versions of zbrush where you get to draw a stroke and it passes through the character you can now play with the repel strength and also the fall off feature and get some better looking stroke when you draw them added to this there's also a bend start and also a bend end and this is for those who like to twist play and also bend their curves just like we have the lock start and the lock end there is now a brand new bend start and bend end so the bend button right now in zbrush 2021.6 is no longer a single button and with the bend start and the bend end it is now easier than ever to lock either ends of a simple stroke so you can manipulate whatever part you want and also have the other end intact moving forward there's also a couple of brushes that are now available now the beautiful thing is both the repel strength the repel fall off and also some of the cool features that have now been added to the stroke brush section of zbrush are now implemented in this brand new set of brushes that we're definitely going to talk about so one of the things that a lot of people get to use the stroke feature to do is to create hair pipes and also some very nice profile looking curves and with that said there's a brand new set of brushes that will definitely make your life easier and they consist of the curve alpha the extrude alpha and also the extrude profile now the curve alpha actually works just like every other curve brush the only difference here is it takes advantage of the alpha that you have directly within your alpha palette and uses that to draw a curve and this means that you can literally convert any of the models that you have to alphas and use them as the profiles that you can use to create curves. but then there is more the extrude alpha is also a wonderful brush which you can use to extrude stuff around your model so for example we've taken a look at the curve brush owing to the fact that you know the curve alpha uses the alpha to make stuff the extrude alpha does it even way better so what you get with the extrude alpha is this if for example you've made a tiny piece of geometry or you have a geometry that you've made you can easily use that geometry to cause some sort of extrusion across the surface thereby using that object to draw curves around your model contrary to what you get with a curve alpha that simply uses alpha to draw curves around a surface this in its sense works with the meshes and with that said let's talk about some very nice and cool looking brushes one of the cool brushes that would be coming over to zbrush 2021.6 is the mesh balloon mesh balloon balloon is very very similar to a tool that we've talked about on the channel known as the monster mash. now the monster mash is a tool set that you can play with it's currently free online so you can actually go ahead and take a look at that i'm going to put a link in the description so that you guys can try it and what this tool does is once you make a drawing automatically it converts that into a 3d geometry more like a balloon kind of thing and that is what the mesh balloon right now in zbrush actually gives you advantage or you know gives you the ability to do so right now if you want to make something like that all you need to do is just simply select the brush and draw more like you're creating a mask in the thin air and automatically it's going to give you that balloon like mesh and this is going to be very useful for those who like to do some quick or rapid concepting or maybe you want to do some quick mock-ups of a model this is definitely going to come in handy now by simply holding down shift on release once you're releasing your mouse the shape would actually snap to the center so if you don't do this what we get to notice is you get to create two different meshes across different points and this is also something that's quite similar to what we have in monster mesh so contrary to making individual elements one after the other and combine this thing with a dyna mesh and all that stuff once you're creating stuff zbrush kind of remembers as far as the camera is moving back and forth and automatically it snaps and merges both objects together and with that said there is a mesh extrude brush which is definitely going to be very useful there is also the mesh project brush now for me i think the mesh project brush is also something that a lot of people will definitely want to work with as it's also a concepting brush so by default mesh created 
with this would follow the underlining mesh and you know this is definitely going to cut down on how much time people spend trying to mask and extract or simply uh, make additional layered meshes on the surface of the mesh that they already have so the mesh project is definitely going to buy cut and actually solve that problem of making a mask calculating how thick the mask is supposed to be especially when you want to extract and going ahead to extract it so with the mesh project all you need to do is just mask directly from top and automatically to project and create a brand new mask following the topology of the object beneath it now with this you can also control the thickness the thickness is actually controlled by the z intensity and for sure there are some updates that definitely comes with this one now with that said for those who like to get some beveling you want to play with the bevel this is also something that is very reasonable to see now if you go over the brush settings going all the way there's a brand new mask mesh modifier now the mask mesh modifier consists of resolution smoothness bevel all of these modifier settings are available for the brand new set of brushes that will be coming over to zbrush and just in case you want to play with the resolution the smoothness of the mesh balloon or maybe you want to use that same setting for the mesh project you can actually proceed to work with this beautiful stuff and with that said there is also a cool brush which is known as the mesh splatter that would definitely be coming and all of these as well also have support for lazy mouse and these brushes are sort of considered as your masking brushes now moving all the way down there was also a couple of cool brushes that was still announced and this one was announced by of Alan himself creator of ZBrush now these brushes are known as the snake curves and there's five variations of the snake curves and for concepting the brushes that was just announced are brushes that would save a lot of people time and especially for those who would want to do some very cool things these brushes are definitely going to be a huge bonus within the set of brushes that they'll be working with so the snake curve brush is actually a more advanced version of the snake hook brush which takes advantage of the curve feature in conjunction with the Sculptris Pro that exists in ZBrush. And this is wild because at any point in time you want to actually do some very cool stuff. From the five variations of the Snake Curve brush that will be coming over to ZBrush 2021.6, it's just interesting to see how much things people will create, how much crazy, lovely, and beautiful art pieces that we will start seeing. So this is more like it. For those who would like to get this, first off, you need to own a license of ZBrush. And right now there is no you know extra expense if you already own one as this is free for anyone who already owns the zbrush full license and this is going to be available to you guys on the 2nd of march 2021 and that's definitely about it i'd like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video for the next update and I'd like to see you guys again with the tutorial update pre-friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this